did it. I did. Dead Rising is happening. We're going to get to see it, but give us a refresher, though. How did you get involved with this project? Well, Dead Rising was invented as a concept, as a video game that's made in Vancouver, which is where I'm from. And Tim Carter, who's the writer-producer, he's also a video game writer. And so he's kind of in that whole video game industry and writing. He knew the Capcom guys and pitched them on what the Dead Rising movie could be. They signed on board. He got Legendary on board to give them some money to make it. And then they were looking for directors, and I was lucky enough to be the one who got the job. As a video gamer, I always feel like an attachment to certain characters, and then when you hire an actor to play that role, it might be a miss for someone like me. So why did you choose these characters? Well, the good thing about Dead Rising is that all the games take place in a new city with new characters, and our film takes place in between Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 3, so it's a new outbreak in the middle. So we were able to create some characters from scratch that worked really well for the film, and then put in characters from the game around them. So Rob Riggle plays Frank West, who's probably the most iconic character in the whole franchise. Put down your phones and run for your goddamn life. He is perfect. Like, even when he got announced as cast, the internet was just, like, losing their mind because not only is he, you know, on The Daily Show played a journalist and stuff, but he's also been a soldier. He's been in wars and he's been through some dark, scary stuff, and that's Frank West, too. He's someone who is a comedian and laughs off all this craziness, but underneath of it, he's got some dark issues <laughs> from all the people he's had to, like, kill. And Jesse was awesome. <laughs> Jesse really, really wanted this role. He fought really hard to get it because he really wanted to show people he had the chops to be an action hero. And I told him really early on, I was like, the action heroes I like are the action heroes that try really hard but are always screwing up. Like Indiana Jones is never perfect. He's always like got a plan and then it falls apart and then he makes up a new plan as he's going. And Jesse was totally on board with that. And he just, he did almost all his all stunts. He would just like throw his body into the film every day. At the end of the days, we just buy him massages when we sent him home. We'd be like, you're just gonna need to like, like he'd get out of the car like an old man because he had just been throwing his body around so much. Remember to build weapons. Lots of weapons. When I met with you guys earlier while you were still making this movie, I got to play with some rubber weapons, but there were no combo weapons there. So uh, what are we gonna see in this film? Yeah, I mean, the combo weapons is one of the most iconic parts of Dead Rising. And you get to tape together all these crazy things. And I like begged Capcom. I was like, what are all the cool weapons you didn't put in the game? Because this is really hard. And they were like, every good one we came up with is in the game. Like coming up with a good combo weapon is tough. So we put in, some of the most iconic ones, like the sledge saw, is a five minute one take action scene in the middle of the film where Jesse just goes to town on about 100 zombies with a sledge saw. And then we invented our own as well. And one of the cool things in the finale is there's actually combo weapon on combo weapon. So three people all with their own combo weapons fighting each other, which you never see in the game because it's always person on zombies. So I'm really excited for people to see the ones that we came up with because they were pretty crazy as they need to be, but also just the ones that everyone loves, like the broom machete, which is great. You got a broom with a machete on the end that you can just swing around. Live your life without fear, and as a human, ask your doctor today if Zombrex is right for you. I also used to know how many gallons of blood did you guys go through? It was funny, because blood comes in different you know, levels. You've got the bucket of blood that's the cheap stuff that you can just throw, but then there's the like really expensive stuff that you can you know, oh. eat and put in your mouth, or cover on some fake intestines so that when you can eat it, we went through a good amount. 